Today we're going to be discussing something that I've been requested a lot of questions about and is how do I travel with my bikes? You guys know in only a year I've been to Hawaii, I've been to Girona, I've been to Texas and now I'm going to Iceland so I thought it was a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys how I do I pack my bike, my 3T Explorer into a bag that I feel is kind of the best in the market but that bag also has a lot of drawbacks so Let's discuss all of that into this get ready with me travel bike setup review of the bag at the same time. So first let's discuss which bike bag am I using and this is the Evoke Road Bike Pro. And I gotta say from trying a few different cycling bike bags, this is hands down the best you can get. But as I mentioned, there's some drawbacks. Try to keep your bike bag as travel ready as possible with leaving some essential stuff inside of it all the time. Always some foam paper. All the thing to wrap my bike, this is something that always stay in this bike bag. So here there's this little thing that completely protect the rear triangle of the bike. Go around your cockpit, that protects your handlebar, your hood and all of that. More foam to go around the forks. I leave some cardboard cutouts that this goes straight into the disc calipers. The whole rail that holds the bike in place. We're gonna see how I do I use that a bit later on down the road. I leave all the plastic cutouts that protects your bike bag that comes with, with it. I usually leave a bike pump in there. For some reason it's not here. I'll try to find it in my other bike box. Also make sure that your bike is tuned up properly before flying somewhere else and that everything will run smooth because the last thing you want when you're traveling is some mechanical issues. So. All right, now next step, I'm gonna put the bike on the ground, but I'm gonna flip it around and you're gonna see why very quickly. So now using the rail that came with the bike and there are two adapters for disc brakes on the bike while it's upside down. There's four holes there that you can put your fork through. And once this red thing is inside, I'm going to use the through axle from my front wheel and I'm gonna put there with just as I would put a wheel on. And same with the rear. Next step, I'm going to use some Velcro wrapping here and I'm just going to secure the crank against the frame. Next, you can bring back your bike box, open it around and make sure that all the straps are open and easily accessible. Lift the rail, place it down there where it belongs. And now most of the job is done, actually. That is the, is the beauty of this bike bag is you don't have to disassemble your cockpit and everything else, this fits right into it. Now using the cardboards I had earlier, I'm gonna place them inside of the disc brake. So next up, I'm just going to test and see if the bag closes. And I don't even have to touch my saddle height. I'm lucky, I'm quite small. But if you do, because you're a taller cyclist, you might want to take the measurements of your seat posts. I'm gonna take the pedals that came earlier and here there's a zipper that's it's kind of dedicated to put your pedals in at the top. Make sure you don't forget them. And now I will be putting foam on the bike and secure the whole thing. Now using the two little foam cylinder, I'm going to bring here the rubble wrap around one fork and this is going to go around the fork to hold it in place. There we go. Next I'm going to take the red straps. I'm going to wrap around the bike and make sure it's secured. Same thing with the rear and here that's what I like to do is go right in front of the saddle so it's going to add points of contact here. Next you have this protection to cover your whole cockpit so you bring that under your bike and you make sure it's secure and it stays in place. Remove all the loose here using the strap. So now as you said we, I did not even remove the GPS mount. You can just stay on top of it and you don't have to do anything to your hoods and to your position. Next, now as you can see, the derailleur is kind of exposed here. There's not much bubble foam around it. But what I usually do is I use a bag like this and I put all my cycling clothing inside of it. And this cycling clothing on this bag will be my protection for my derailleur. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stuff this down here and I'm gonna go around the derailleur at the front and at the rear. So that way it can be protected from impacts. And now next up, one of the last piece of protection is this little thing. Uh, as you see, it's Velcro on both sides and it goes right behind your rear triangle. And this is going to prevent the bike from crushing around that derailleur. So as you bring up, I'm not sure if you can quite see here, but here, this is the piece and it goes right here behind the rear triangle. And this will protect your whole bag in, in case of an impact here when it's, when it's dropped by their handlers. 
And now I'm gonna finish the closing here. Now that we have an almost finished bike bag, but Evoc really step up their protecting process with these little plastic things. So what these do is they go all around the bike bag. It's gonna add some structure to it and it's going to make sure that there's some vertical protection for your bike. So, so you just slide them through here. It's a little bit of an asshole to do all the time. Uh, Sometimes if you do have the space, you can leave them inside of your bike bag when stored. But in my case, I did not have all of that space. So now you almost have a finished bike box for you to go and travel. At this point, this is where I suggest that you would weight the whole thing and see how much weight you still have to add cycling gear. Uh, the thing is, airline companies can be dicks when it comes to weight into the bag, so make sure that uh, you're not going over 50 pounds or 23 kilograms. And if you do, and you have to go over that limit, there will be a fee, but whatever, which company you're flying with, uh, that fee can be quite high. So All right, so now that I've showed you how I pack my bag, as you saw, it's quite easy. And this is such a must when you go travel with your bike. It's the last thing you want. And trust me, I've had bike bags in the past that you need to dismount the whole thing. You need to dismount the cockpit, the derailleur, the crank, and all of that. The problem with those, yes, the bike bag will be quite smaller, it will, quite, it will be lighter as well, but you need to dismount, you need to remount at your location, you need to dismount again when you're leaving, remount at home, and this whole process can take you hours. And if you're not a that good of a mechanic, you might rebuild your bike the wrong way on the location. So let's say you're going to travel to somewhere, there's no bike shops, and in that process, you just cannot adjust your gears or your cockpit is loose and all of that. Well, a bike bag like this might be a better option because you don't have to dismount the whole thing. Now this comes with some drawbacks. And one of the main drawbacks is that the bike bag itself is heavy. And the problem with that is the bike bag puts your bike, plus, I forgot the wheels. I did not put the wheels in, but basically it's quite, quite easy. Uh, there are two wheel bags included and all you have to do is slide them right here and they will hold themselves perfectly and you don't need to be worried about them, but yes. Do not forget your wheels, but coming back to my point, this bag with its weight and the bike and the wheels, and especially now I'm riding a gravel bike, I'm pretty much already maxed out to 50 pounds. So I need to take in consideration that either I have a second check baggage to bring my shoes, my extra tires, anything else as I go on a trip and I need, they might not fit into the weight category of this bike bags. A second drawback of this big bag is when it comes to going to the airport and leaving the airport to your location, while well, you need a van that can accommodate all that size. Problem with that is sometimes when you rent cars, bigger cars are more expensive. So you need to take that in mind that you might need a minivan or you might need a big SUV. You cannot go for the small rental cars because the bike bag will not even fit in. And now the third drawback of this bike bag is Whenever you're traveling, you're stuck with this and you need to carry it around. And even though it's kind of quite, it can get on the smaller-ish side uh, without the plastic and when it's all folded up, it's still big, it's still heavy to carry. Something I've just done when going to my trip to Iceland is I messaged the rental car company. It's like a smaller company. So then I will be able to store my bike bag at their location while I'm going to travel in Iceland so we don't have to carry it with us into the car. Now, in terms of the protection, I feel this bag is very secured. I have no doubts I will get to the destination without any problem. I've done six flights already on it, not a single issue, either at the airport going to the oversized check baggage or finding my bike, my bike bag, and no damage inside. And for the long time viewers of the YouTube channel, you might guys have saw uh, one of my, my first video about the cycling was the TSA destroyed my bike. And that happened with another bike brand called Oru Case. You can watch that other video for the full story. But now with this bike bag, I'm not that stressed anymore. All right, guys, this is it for today's though. If you are in the market for a new bike bag, I highly suggest that you check out this Evoc Road Bike Pro. I got mine from HLC, which is a Canadian distributor. Uh, they were supporting the Hawaii film and they provided this bike bag for me to bring my bike safely to Hawaii. And since then, I always use this bike bag. There's no point for me to go to another bike, com bike company because this is just the absolute best and I love it so much. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. My next video will be in Iceland, so I'm sure you guys will love to see the scenery and what I am up to over in that very cold, very Nordic country. 
All right, my name is Charles, and I will see you on the road or to the next video. Peace. Thank you.